Hello, this is section 4.3, Geometry, and we are going to be talking about a new postulate here today, and it is for pro proving um, triangles congruent. For example, in this one, they're asking us to prove triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDD. And there's four methods for proving triangles congruent, and we're going to look at the first one today, which is side, 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 abbreviated SSS. And that is if you can show that all three sides, all three sides of a one triangle are congruent to the three sides of another, then the two triangles are congruent. So here's a proof. Our first step, we could say given, right? We could say AD is congruent to BC, and AB, this is the given, is congruent to DC. And we can see that with our tick marks right on here. We have the double tick marks for those two sides that are congruent, and that's given. The second step, oh, we should have this diagonal here. And that diagonal, both sides share that diagonal, so it's congruent for both triangles. So we can see, say, B, D is congruent to B, D. And why would that be? That would be the reflexive property. Since they're both sharing it, they both have the same length. And now we have three sides congruent. We can say triangle ABC is congruent, triangle CDB. And that would be by side, side, side. We've shown all three sides to be congruent in both triangles. Therefore, the triangles are congruent. Pretty straightforward. Let's look at the next problems. Here's three other problems to consider and see. In this example number one here, we can see that the bottoms are congruent to each other, the left sides are congruent to each other, the right sides are congruent to each other, and thus, we can say, try yes, we can, this is a true statement. We can use side, side, side to show those triangles congruent. Here in this example two, we have the centerpiece, which is AC is congruent to AC, um, and we have this side congruent to each other, but the other sides are not congruent, thus not congruent triangles. And this one over here, example three, we have some drawings that we can show QT is congruent to TR for those one tick marks. The QP is congruent to RS. And then we have PT is congruent to TS. Thus, um, congruent triangles. So, for your question number one, go to page 237, page 237 in your textbook and put the answer to question number 16 for question number one. Have a great day. That was the side, side, side.